Welcome to this look at a new-ish mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on Palenye. This is a new-ish mod map out by MA7 Studios, 813.35 megabytes download. It's set in the region of Lorraine, northeast France. I'm going to move away from here for a moment. I'm just worried about copyright strikes and whatnot. The, the church there... It plays music. Oh, it's, it's lovely. The dang it, the tune is wonderful. It doesn't seem to matter where I move to. Let's move there. That should be all right for us to start. Right. <laughs> Let's go to our map. This is a stunning map, I have to say. Um, it's a high megabyte download, but there are no required mods. So often you'll find a map that has a mid to low megabyte download might have 13 mods that need to be downloaded, which when you do that, brings it back up again. Um, so 813.35 megabytes. Now, there are some... The animal pens are all built in. The productions that are here are built in. Um, and there are some extra crop types. I'll talk about those in a moment. Um, contracts are available. Um, so there are some extra productions, a few different bits and bobs that have been put in. Like I say, it is... I, I really like it. Uh, when we get to the main farm, we'll talk about slot count. But like I say, the map looks like this. On New Farmer, we start with quite a few fields. The main farm here is plot 103. Plot 103 is 948,000. Now, there are a couple of plots that are quite pricey. Now, as we go around the map as well, we're going to pick up a few of these. These areas that have got sort of... Um, sort of the darker green speckle across them. These are pastures, animal pastures. And there are a few of those. We'll pick those up as we go around as well. Um... Like I said, I don't, I'm... What's the best way of putting this? It surprised me. I don't know why. Uh, you know, you look at the map, you look at the description, you read it and go, oh, okay, you know, fair enough. But it's so much... It's picturesque, it's pretty, it's... I don't know, the lighting's great, the texture, the colour, it, it all just works. I don't know why, it just does. So extra crop types, we've got mustard, triticale, alfalfa and spelt. If you look top right, we go across, you'll see those there to the right-hand side. Um, Tritica, well, all four of those are put in the ground with cedars. Uh, not planters, cedars. Uh, three of them, can you guess which three, are harvested with regular harvester headers. The alfalfa can be mowed, mown, uh, can be tedded into hay, that kind of thing. So, all within the ground with seed out with regular headers apart from alfalfa, which is a grass, technically. Um, field prices are pretty much, I say, standard. We've got small fields, we've got mid-sized fields, we've got large-sized fields. We've got quite a few uh, areas of forestry. The verges of the map can be purchased and are fairly pricey, 3,132,327. So if you want to buy all the periphery, the edges, all the bits in the middle, where cell points and stuff are, the main town, that kind of thing, you absolutely can if you want to. Uh, just checking my notes to make sure I haven't missed anything. There are collectibles, seven. I did find one. Actually, I'm, I'm, I will start here. This was going to be part of the route round we got to later on. Um, but we do have the... I'm going to, sorry if I say this wrong, Kochi. Kochi Express, this is a sell point just here. Then next to that, we've got the bakery, which is just here. This is a regular bakery. Um, I mean, everything on here is custom, and it's another thing I like about this map. This is not just a plonk down. This is not a, here's the bakery, look, here's the generic in-game bakery. You know, here's a dairy, plonk, here's the generic. This is all custom on this map. And some of the features, there's a lot of things that can be activated, things that can be changed. It, it's... Like I say, it's a bit of a corker, this one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to whiz past the um, start point. Whiz down the side road. You still have the bells ringing. If I keep talking, <laughs> which I know not everyone likes, but if I keep talking, hopefully drown out the uh, bells a little bit. I don't think... I'm going to whiz up here very quick. I don't think there's a point on here where we can switch these off. Um, I did wonder where there might be, because there's triggers for all different things around the map. But I'm not sure. Anyway, down here, we've got a sell point. This is firewood. Around the back here, so we can sell wood. It's basically a wood sell point. But this is firewood, a sell point. And we're going to whiz up into the town. And again, I like, I just love the detail of it. It's got such a lovely old world French town feel to it. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is, I guess. But it, I don't know, it's really nice. So, moving away from there, we will come to the start farm plot 103 and it's kind of 
built into everything and again the detail on here is tremendous the weathering on the doors and the buildings and all of it just it works it really really does so if we're coming through here first we've got our chicken coop chicken pen just here we do have 16 out of 30 so there are chickens already wandering around the uh, farm area if we go back to our map this is the main farm so you get the cow there's a cow barn you get a cow pen just outside of it we've got chickens and we've got field 99 just aside there in the main farm area so if we come around the side here just inside the building here we've got some of our start machinery we've got a workshop trigger so the workshop trigger is just inside here but this is where your workshop point is here if we cut through here we've got some more equipment and machinery tucked in here and we've got bale and pallet storage at 250 so our triggers are here for our bale and pallet storage come through here and we've got farm cheeses so we have got a cheese production here on site so if you come onto your farm manager and start from scratch because you don't own the, the farm yet that won't be showing us a production as soon as you buy the farm that production will become available to you so if we click on that we've got farm cheeses butter cheese bread and cake can be made here as well so you've got an on-site bakery too and then old style mustards can be made here so with the mustard you can grow and harvest with the regular header you can bring it here and you can make old style mustard so that's been added in and this brings us through to the shop at the front it's just i, I yeah I love it, I really do. Coming back out from there, more equipment and machinery stored away. I'll talk about slot count. There's things like this. The brickwork around this pillar. Not all of them, just that one. Just adds that real feel to it, you know? It's not contrived at all. You can imagine it being just like that. Maybe they were all like that and they've all been broken away, or for some reason that one kept getting clouted, so they put some brick around it. I don't know. Um, so slot count is 1,601 on new farmer. On farm manager and start from scratch, that comes down to 1,407 because you don't start with any of the equipment or machinery you see around you. So we've got baler, mower, we've got our class just there and a weight. If we come through, we have got our silo here. So this is this grain silo. This is what I call standard plus. So it's the standard crop types, not a multi-fruit silo. And the plus is the extra crop types you get on this map are taken in this silo. Pick up there, we've got some liquid fertilizer and herbicide given to us at the start. And a bit of storage space in the building here. If we come out the back, just the back here. Got more equipment and machinery stored away here. Plow and wind rower, cultivator. Come out the back, we've got another bale and pallet storage, and this one's 1,450 here with our harvester, harvest header, flatbed trailer. We've got our silage clamps. So these two sort of built into the hillside. This one slightly separate. If we whiz through from there, we'll come around to the back of the cow pen. And again, all bespoke, all fits into the landscape slurry pit just here slurry lagoon wherever you refer to it manure pit front load of stuff there as you can see the chickens are wandering loving life and then we've got the cow barn just here for 110 cows It's a great farmyard. It really is a great farmyard. So I'm going to grab the pickup. I'm also going to put some money in because we're going to need that to buy some of the stuff as we go around so I can show you the productions and various different things and all the various different pastures. If I miss any pastures, I do apologise. I did try to find them all. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you these. Sorry. Uh, fertilizer and lime spreader just there. And we've got a trailer tucked in just here with a kind of, I don't know, workshop, office space just in there or more storage um, a lot of people when I say about things like that and sheds and storage that are really small and people will comment and say what well, I don't what's the point of them if you're using mods where you're using seed bags fertilizer but you know you might be going proper you know proper hardcore immersive and you're loading bags onto pickups or into your you know you might be manually loading your cedars up um, storing small bags and stuff like that, or even small liftable bales that kind of thing little sheds and building spaces like that work absolutely perfectly so what I'm going to do I'm going to open the main door here
It is lovely. Grab the pickup. I will meet you out on the main road with some extra money and we will head around. Let's start the pickup up. Right then, I'm going to drive straight across. Hopefully nothing comes. So I knew it. There we go. Straight across. So to our right, we've got our pasture. A pasture. I'm coming up to here because this is where the triggers will appear once you've purchased the pasture. You can see how it is picturesque. This is not a clunky map. This, you know, this is really well made, really well blended, neatly done. Um, so we've come straight across from the main farm and we've got this plot here. So plot 86, purchase that, do that and that. I'm going to do that one, which we'll drive to in a moment as well. Plot 87, we purchase that, do that and that, and then your icons come up. So here, our dialogue box for 60 cows into this pasture. Now, what we do have on all of the pastures, I'm going to show it on one, but we do have the um, spanner symbol. It comes to that, show pasture troughs. So you can add or remove the pasture troughs. If you don't want the troughs showing, you don't have to have them showing. And obviously, once you've taken your icons away, um, Again, when, people, when I'm doing the map tour, I always have the icons on so you can see them. But your interactive zone markers, you don't have to have those on. But if you're ever stuck and you're not sure where a trigger point is or something like that, you can always turn those interactive zone markers on to see and then turn them back off again. That's not a problem at all. But as far as the uh, troughs go, yeah, we can turn those on or off in each of the pastures if you want. So, where's the gate? That's interesting. Lost. Oh, there we go. Close the gate up at the end of the gate post. Right. Let's back up down here. Swing around in this driveway. And we shall continue on. So there are a couple of points on the map. Like there, I, I looked at that side and I wonder where that that goes I, I love a map that has you intrigued uh, you know some maps you drive around it's kind of very plonk 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 you go to the various different locations job done maps that pique your interest maps that make you you, know, you 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 want to explore job done map makers done a quality job if that's the case so turn just down here and this is the sheep pasture just here the second one we bought this will hold 75 and again, just there, so we can turn those on or off the troughs for water and for feed if you want to. Hop over. We'll carry on rather than going back on ourselves. We'll go up to the main road and then we'll bung a right. Oh, what I didn't mention was um, there are no vehicles, machinery, equipment put in by the map maker. And under build mode, the only thing we've got in build mode are a couple of silos. Um, one of them is a lime station, I think it was a lime point, but I'll have a double check when we get down to this next point here. Um, and the other one was um, a silage clamp, and that was all, that's all put in by the map maker. Like I say, all the rest is built in, so um, it's not there as a separate entity. So, vehicle shop and workshop, again, custom building, workshop trigger is just there. We don't own any of these vehicles, any of this equipment, this, none of this belongs to us. This is here for um, for show, including the cultivator in there. Workshop around the corner. Vehicle shop trigger is just here. This is also the reset point on the map. So if you need to reset anything, it will reset back here. If we're going to build mode. I'll show you what I mean. Under silos, out to the end there. There we go. So it was a silo for lime and a bunker silo. That's the only two things put in. Uh, there was nothing really over and above on painting textures nothing for plants nothing for animals anything like that let's say everything else is built in next to this we have the Vosges I think it's Vosges so this is the Vosges cell point just here but again when I said about animations you've got lots of these little triggers if you don't have your um, triggers showing sometimes you'll miss bits like this and I have done it before Activate grain probe. So when you bring your stuff here to be sold, like you would do normally, the grain probe goes in, does a sample to make sure everything's okay, moisture, that kind of thing. Because you can be deducted money when you sell if there's too high moisture, if there's extra bits in there. Sometimes farmers will blend crops from previous years, that kind of thing. So if I activate the grain probe, the grain probe can go into your... Uh... Why is that? It's not gone back out again. 
sure that went back out again last oh there we go uh yeah so you drive your, your lorry up open the cover grain probe again just adds a bit of immersion it's just it's a nice feature and you look out across the landscape oh, look at that it, it is tip top now uh, while i'm driving down to the next point i, I apologize for the lateness um, i have said on my mod review and i did say on the last couple of let's plays mod review and map tour i think it was before i came away it's mrs city p's birthday today actually as i'm recording this uh, we came up on Friday, we had a hellish drive up on Friday, it took about nine hours to get up to the Lake District. Um, they dropped mods on Friday, but I did the mod review Saturday, and I just haven't got, had a chance to get round to get into this. Um, plus, the internet is quite slow where we are, so even when I've done this, it's going to take about three hours to upload. So, um, yeah, the, the, the speeds I have at home, I don't have while I'm away. So it's just a case of getting to things as I can. I'm driving all the way out here, there's a water point right at the end of here there's a well i could probably have just shown you on the map um, but we'll drive all the way out here just because we get to see some of the lovely landscape it's like the the, the meandering river that runs around in these different locations as it swings around and all these points if you did your geography at school <laughs> these rivers where it starts to do this here and then the water will gradually find an easier path across and that becomes then what's called well it depends because you've got another tributary there but an oxbow lake it might do it here where it'll cut across and it will leave that isolated over time and, and i'm looking at the map again it's that kind of thing of wow it's like been on a geography field trip you know the map's done really well we will get to it in a moment there is a well out here there you go is that worth the drive out there we go well just there heading back to the main road then we're going to cross the river we'll have some more pastures um there's, there's a second farm we're about to well we'll get to in a moment we've got a gas station with a workshop we're going to get to next probably should be speeding this fast along a rutted track but like i say it's it's not it's not even slightly clunky anywhere. I haven't found a point anywhere you think, oh, that's a little bit, you know. It's just... Yeah. So, gas station and workshop just here. Swing around there and go out down this main road and we'll come to the dairy, which I'll purchase because the dairy's got some extra products built into it. So, stop just here. Large, I have to say, for a lovely kind of rural place, a lot of the production stuff on here is very industrial. It's got a, it's not a kind of cottage industry feel to it. It's got a real, I suppose, cooperatives, that kind of thing. But that being said, purchase the dairy just here. So we've got butter, cheese, and chocolate as normal. We've got vegetable milks that can be made. Oh, there we go. Uh, from our wheat, from soybean, and from oats. So oat milk soy milk and is that oh no that's not um that's one of the extra crops isn't it spelt it says it there spelt milk no point crying over it um no that was terrible anyway so that's the dairy i like that one that one made me smile for the five people that are going to watch this i know i know it's been late um like i say I will often, this will often happen, sometimes I'll miss a map, I'm away on holiday, and I will have people message a week later and say, can you please do a map tour? And I'm more than happy to do it. Like I say, I love exploring new maps when they come out and seeing the new features and things that map makers and modders have done, I think it's brilliant. So, heading up this hill here, we come to this secondary farm, just here. So, back to the map, and I will show you, so... We came across there, well, we went round there past the pasture, vehicle shop, then out there to Vosges Cooperative, then down all the way there to the well at the end, come all the way back, gas station, workshop trigger out there to the dairy. We've now come back to here and we are here at plot 95. Do that and that. And we've got sheep here. So, sheep farm, just in here. Again, built into the landscape, built into the hillside. 35 sheep. I'm not going to drive all the way out to it, but 
Did you see there's a little barn just over there? If we click on here, that track runs all the way out there and we have got a bale and pallet storage point out there. The bale and pallet storage point out there is 1,500 uh, in the B&P storage. There's not a sleep trigger here. I don't think there's a sleep trigger at this one. It hasn't come up. There you go. Lighting? Yeah, pretty sure it's not. But again, in the mod tub, there are so many available, you can put them in yourself if you want to. So, continuing, we go up the road, and you can just see a silo off to the right-hand side, peeking over the hill. If we take the next right, we will come to, again, sorry if I've said it, Fretodi. This is a train transfer, I mean, you can, I think you can only transfer one way at this one. Um, this has a rent train point and the train goes off to Epinal as you can just see it going now so rent train point is just down here train goes off to Epinal now you can put in and take out of the silo here so I guess storage but the question is this hasn't come up as a cell point I'm, I'm just going to double check because we come along here we've come up to here and like I say the train will go off to Epinal the city of Epinal and we've got Fretto D here, and we've got this point there. Now that looks like a cell point. Um, so when I came to here, I'm pretty sure I went through everything, and nothing came up on here as a cell point, which was curious. City of Epinel does, so if you're sending stuff off by train, you can. But nothing came up showing as a cell point for Fretto D. So my assumption based on that is that putting into the silo from your fields from the road is done here so you tip into there and then you bring your train and off you go weirdly if the, i suppose you could back the train all the way along i'm not sure why you would unload into it but then i couldn't find a pipe anywhere that would allow you to take back out of the silo by road so as far as i can tell you can only tip into it but anyway, that being said this is where you can and the train will go off to Epinal from here. So rent train point, railroad goes off. And the great thing about this as well is the railroad is built into the hillside. Um, so, it, so it comes out of the hillside here, runs across, it goes under the hillside here as well, sort of spotty across there, there as well, and then disappears off back out the other side. It's, it's like I say, it's very, very well done. From here then, I'm taking the slightly weird route round. And one of the pastures I'm going to show you in a minute, again, we're not going to drive out to it. It's an out and back route, but I'll show you on the map where it is. Just for complete transparency. So, we should be coming to a track on our right in a moment. He says. It's up here somewhere, there we go. Again, we'll take in some of the lovely French countryside. Nice sweeping countryside. So we're going over the top of where the railway comes out. You can just see the back of the uh, tunnel entrance just there. And we're going to run down the side of it. So we just come over the railway and we're running down the other side. And we stop, whoa, just here. Because we have come from where are we don't there so came from that farm out there up to there came along here up this track wound our way across here and we are now at this point here so that one there he says plot 98 click on that buy that do that and that sheet pen but that track there goes up there up there up there we've got another one up here plot 102 buy that that and that and that's for cows now that track or these tracks kind of link into it but there's a river here and that track goes off to the off the edge of the map there's no way to get across there unless you put a bridge in i guess but there's fencing and stuff all along there so that's an out and back you've got to come back down to here back down to here and back across again or back down to the farm whichever way you want to go um so that one out there the cow pasture will hold 35 cows and this one here, the sheep pasture, will do 50. And again, we've got triggers in them. There we go, 50 sheep, 
35 cows up on the pasture over the hill there and we have got our ability here again for adding or removing the troughs in them so onwards we're going to head to the main road again lovely little bridge coming up and i was absolutely hooning down here when i was doing my prep and realized it was not quite a humpback bridge but almost like a double hump bridge as i hit it <laughs> but again and that fantastic so we're going to chuck a left which is just here wouldn't be a map tour if i didn't pull out in front of traffic so up to the northern end of the map and we're going to turn to our right momentarily just here so up there we've got the animal dealer so the animal dealer point is just there and then to the left just over there we've got the animal dealer sell point so your bale type stuff can be sold there at the animal dealer And we're up in the northeast corner of the map is where most of the forestry is so out to the side there we've got a sell point coming up this is souffle agriculture so a sell point there actually i didn't look to see i assume this has got a probe point if you fancy being probed when you come up yeah i think we've got another one here haven't we yeah look at that if that's your thing I don't know if these doors open. Didn't check that either. Yes, they do. Look. Again, adds a bit to the emotion, doesn't it? Oh, it just does that one. Oh, yeah, it does. Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. That's cool. So, from here, so we come up there, past Animal Dealer. We're at Souffle here. If you take this track, which is a kind of fork off the main road, that takes you out to the sort of main forestry area up around here there are no cell points or anything out that way but you know that is sort of the main bulk of the forestry we have got a little bit down here but a lot of that there's some smaller bits here a lot of that is on the periphery and i'm not sure if we can actually access that but this we definitely can so back to the pickup this pickup male or masculine or feminine is it little or that i'm not sure Continuing down the hill, and just before we get to the viaduct, it's turning on our left, which will take us to the sawmill again. Another bespoke building, which is an absolute cracker. The map is absolutely littered with them. The map is stunning, stunning, staggering. I know, pick pick your adjective, it's all up to you. So, built in, bespoke. Look at it. Wood chip from there, sawmill here. Swing around. So, uh, the sawmill buy point is just here. So, the sawmill, if we do that, now this is standard without premium expansion or platinum. You can do wood planks and you can do planks frame so you can make frame here as well which is an additional product product if we continue from here we've got the wood cell point but then we've also got again really nice feature added in another animation so you've got your wood cell point drop off points there we come round to here you can load your logs onto this if you want to because you've got a wood cell point there click on this activate dock so you put your wood on there that will push it all up there onto there which is the sell point and then sell that uh, that's fantastic again it's another one of those features i've done plenty of map tools and plenty of maps where you've got you know even if you've got bespoke stuff and it all looks absolutely fantastic but the fact all these extra bits have been added in it explains why the megabyte download is a little bit higher but again like i said there are plenty of maps that have a higher megabyte download because they're required mods so i think it's absolutely worth it it's very very well made and very well done so down to the next bespoke building 
We're going to go under here. We come to Le Saint Frère Mill, or The Saint Frère, it says on the map. Now, what I'm going to say is, because this is not owned by me yet, it's owned by someone else, the water well is already turning. Again, fantastic looking building. And whilst very industrial, it has the feeling like it's been here a very long time. We've got a couple of points here. That's for lighting on and off. Drop off point, unload point. We've got the buy point here. So as soon as I buy that, the water wheel will stop running because until you then put something in it. But this is expensive, 800,000. But bear with me. Because when we click on that again, look at what we can do. We can do our various different flowers, including spelt. Then we've got cereal battery, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, sugar beet sugar, sugar beet cup, sugar cane sugar. So we've got four productions in one. We've got a grain mill, cereal factory, oil, oil mill, and our sugar mill. All in one production. So, I mean, look at it like that. 800 grand for four productions. Not bad at all, is it? We come around. I've uh, got to be careful here. Uh, actually, I'll run across here. Where the pallets all spawn. Actually, I could have driven. It's all right. It's not a problem. But we open this door here. Open gate. This is your spawn point in here. So you can see the hazard marked areas on the ground. So your very different things will spawn in this building here. So back to the pickup again it's built into the landscape seamlessly it just feels like it should be there whoops um, a bit of a fender bender but we're all right so the next bit we're going to come to we already did because that was it was part of where i was going to get to now but we did it at the start because of the uh like I said, don't get me wrong, the, the chimes, the ringing of the bells, it's beautiful. Stand and listen to it for a bit. The music it plays is wonderful. But I don't know where you would stand with that. So back through the town, and we went off that way towards the farm. If we turn this way, and come up here, and just stop here. It's so around the back, we've got ISO straw. ISO straw is not just, it's, you can sell straw here, but there are other products. Then you can bring wool here and stuff as well. This is not like a bale sale point. That's a sale point for that. And then this is wood point, because here we've got carpentry. It's a standard carpentry, I think, this one. I don't think there was anything different about this. Furniture wood, furniture planks. Nope. Um, so pretty standard as far as this goes. And back around the front. Oh, sorry. Stand off with a cowboy, that's not good. Continuing until we get to here. This is a liquid fertilizer tank. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a municipal garage sort of thing. Sort of place you would come to in the winter to get, you know, salt and things like that. As you can see all the barriers and things um, tucked away over here. Um, but this is a um, liquid fertiliser point that you can refill and then come and collect if you want to. 173,500 litres and across the way we have got... Just here, I'm trying to check my notes. Uh, I think it was Landscaper. I think it was Landscaper. So this side. So we've got a Landscaper sell point for various different products. And then we've got a lime point. Now, this is not a lime buy point as usual. This is the one that was in the um, under silos. And this is one that you refill. So 35,000 litres, you can pay to have it refilled. And again, there are tons of mods in the Mods Hub for production of lime, lime buy points, whatever you want. But this one's built into the map um, if you want it. You can refill with lime and then just come and collect it from there if you want to. So that's landscape. I think that was landscape. I'm just going to double check the map. Just to be on the safe side. So we came from the sawmill, which was there, then past the mill there, the Saint Frere Mill. Came up past that. We did those originally. We did firewood. So we came back through the town here. Then we go, there's our iso straw and carpentry. Then we got our liquid fertilizer tank. 
Yeah, landscaper and silo for lime, I think. Just double checking. I think I did all the pastures. If I've missed one, I do apologise, but I'm pretty sure I got them all. We head out from here. We take that little fork off to the right, as well as as well as the well down by the river. Up on the right there, you can just see on the skyline, there's a water tower for water as well. But again, in the mod tub, plenty of options for water if you want to place elsewhere. But if you'd rather be a bit more immersive and travel out to get water from somewhere else, I mean, either one's immersive, it depends how you look at it. We come to the final point on the map. This is the biogas plant, 250 kilowatts. Again, bespoke, built in, looks great, fits very nicely, looks like it's weathered, looks like it's been here a long time. Now this one doesn't have the icons showing, and this is one where you do have to buy the land. So we are now here at plot 104. Once you've bought the land, the icons and triggers will appear. Um, so 517,000, do that, that, and there we go. Triggers have appeared, 250 kilowatt, pretty much standard. Product in, product out. 250 kilowatt fire gas plant and that ladies and gentlemen is the map I'm pretty sure we went around all of it I hope we did pretty sure but if I have missed anything I do apologize it's like I say it's it's glorious there you go there's another one add that to the list <laughs> spectacular stunning glorious What a lovely landscape. Um, sorry, that's Palenye by MA7 Studios. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And thanks for watching. <laughs>